Hello, Coffee Breakers. Welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. Let's give glory to our God together and let's Coffee Break Short Break. Hi, welcome back. How about another short story? The title of this story is The Santa Chair. Although Christmas was almost five weeks out and Thanksgiving just around the corner, the Christmas season was in full swing in Heidi Falls, Michigan. Since he had nothing to do, being that most of his friends were out of town visiting relatives for Thanksgiving, Christopher D'Agostino, who was home from college on winter break, decided to head to Heidi Falls Mall to see if he could find some seasonal work to help earn the money he needed to buy his family some Christmas gifts. Heidi Falls is a small town similar to what you would see in a Hallmark Christmas movie, located in northern Michigan near the Canadian border. Christopher lived in Heidi Falls all his life with no desire to leave, with the exception of going to college at the University of Michigan. As Christopher walked the mall searching out potential employers he could inquire with about a job, he noticed in the center court of the mall Santa's Village complete with a huge Santa chair that looked more like something a king would sit in rather than a fat, jolly old man that gets replaced with underwear once you stop believing in him. It was a simple chair by design, made of all wood, with the exception of the cushions on the seat and back of the chair that were dressed in Christmas colors and the gold piping that ran along the outside perimeter of the chair. It's too simple by design to be a king's chair, and yet it almost seems out of place compared to the rest of the village, Christopher thought to himself. He couldn't shake the feeling that there was something special about that chair. Just then, a man exited from the red and green canopy located just behind the chair. Dressed in what appeared to be an authentic Santa suit that looked nothing like the rented suits the bell-ringing Salvation Army Santas wore, he was a spitting image of old Saint Nick. Ho, 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 Santa said. Nice to see you, Christopher. I see you have been admiring the chair. Christopher was blown away at the fact that Santa knew him by name. However, before he could ask, Santa said, You're wondering how I know you, right? Well, that's easy, Christopher. I know everyone especially here in Heidi Falls. Perhaps he was a loco who lived in Heidi Falls all his life, just like Christopher. And although he thought he knew everyone in Heidi Falls, he somehow missed this guy who would have been hard to forget considering how much he looked like the real deal, Santa Claus. That is because I am the real deal, Santa said. Now come, sit down. Let's talk about what you really want for Christmas. Santa took his place on the chair, Christopher on the smaller chair to his right. Christopher's head was spinning out of control. How can this be the real Santa Claus, he thought to himself. Santa Claus isn't real. Which caused Santa to say, And that, my friend, is why you get underwear for Christmas, because you stop believing. Christopher chuckled nervously. It is only when we lose our way, Santa said, that we stop seeing what is in front of us. What do you mean? Christopher asked. When we fail to see Christmas for the gift to the world that it really is, Santa said, 
we stop believing in the spirit of Christmas and start believing in the magic of Christmas. Christmas was not born in the belly of a department store or conjured up in a spell book from a Harry Potter movie. Christmas was conceived by a spirit, the Holy Spirit, and born in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes, who would one day grow up to save the world from itself. The spirit of Christmas, my dear boy, is truth, while the magic of Christmas is a spell conjured up by consumerism and retailers with me as its icon. My jolliness is more a representation of wealth than goodwill toward men and peace on earth. How can there be peace when there is greed, poverty, and sin? And yet in the midst of all this Christmas magic that blinds many to what is false about Christmas, you were able to recognize that the Santa chair is a chair for a king rather than jolly Saint Nick, and rightly so. For the wood that makes up this simple and design chair as you described it, yet fit for a king, is the same wood that the one true king said to his father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. At that moment, the jolly old man disappeared, and in his place where he had been sitting just a moment ago was a crown of thorns that only one king, the king of kings, has ever worn. That's it for today's show. Remember to love God, serve your neighbor, help the poor, pray for those most in need of prayer. Be kind to yourself and especially to those who aren't always so kind to you. Love with all your heart, worship the Lord, and fellowship with your brothers and sisters whenever and wherever you get the opportunity to do so. And if you are Roman Catholic as I am, please remember to pray your rosaries every day. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment below, and like this video. Until we meet again, adios!